As far as Ric Flair, I mean, you live with him. He was known for getting a lot of girls. He claims 10,000. Do you think that's possible uh, from your experience around him that he could have reached numbers that high? And, and how were your skills with the ladies back in those days? Boy, you know how to shoot me down, don't you? Make me feel I'm ready to cry. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll tell you. If Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain did 30,000 women, as he claims, he would have had a fuck three and a half women every day for his entire lifetime. That's from the day he was born. So talking about bullshit. So I would say that Rick was maybe... 10,000 might be a little low, tell you the truth. I saw Rick, <laughs> Jesus. We'd be in a parking lot at a 7-Eleven store and be getting a pipe job from some dolly. And uh, just, you know, Rick is real personable and uh, real outgoing. And he has that type of personality. It's like a magnet. It just brought, uh, draws people in. Uh, st especially women. And uh, so uh, I'd say Rick probably numbered, uh, yeah, 10,000, he says. Yeah, I, I, I'd say 12,000 plus. And I guess with you, you were famous from the Olympics. You were buddies with Rick, and you were also famous from pro wrestling. I don't know if you had that type of personality, but did you uh, – get your fair share back in those days as well? Yeah, I well, I, as I tell people, you know, we, we'd uh, show up at the arena, you know, we'd drive wherever we were going. Didn't matter, Milwaukee, Chicago, Boston, New York, Miami, whatever. You show up and you know there's going to be girls out there, you know, probably 20 to 30, and you just take your pick. You know, there's no, you know, everybody knew what the hell was going on. Everybody knew the score. And uh, I'll tell you about one little town up in the mountains of North uh, North Carolina. It's called Asheville, and uh, it's not a little town anymore. It's a pretty big town now. But uh, the Vanderbilts built this huge castle up there, and so it was a real. Uh, tourist uh, attraction place and we wrestled up there every sunday well we had a turnover of girls that was unbelievable we had a lot of the same every week but because of that castle was such a, a tourist attraction there was girls everywhere and uh so uh it wasn't unusual to uh to do two, three, sometimes four girls in an afternoon. Yeah, that that's the truth. That was well. That was my limit. I mean, Paul Jones and Ric Flair and some of those guys. Shit, who knows? Five, six, seven uh, wouldn't be unusual. <laughs> that was part of the fun of being a wrestler in those days because I don't think it's like that anymore, unfortunately. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.